I don't know. Can you pick a better time? Can you pick a better time to be random like this, man? <laughs> I can't get this motherfucker out of my head. All right, Disney, you got me. You got me with, with Sebastian. I was going to shit on Sebastian, man, but, I, but you got me, man. <laughs> like, with him, I thought they were going to shit, shit the bucket. Nope, they did not. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> yeah! What up, buddies? Yo, no, no, what we just saw, bro. We just saw under the sea, under the sea. Oh man, Disney. Okay, I was ready to shit on you today, but you got me. You got me. We just saw the Little Mermaid. In case you didn't know what Nuno was singing, bro. Oh man, and he didn't kill me for singing along. That's cool. I was this close. This oh, close. Shit. I was ready to shut your ass up. <laughs> I, I'm the gatekeeper this time. <laughs> But yo, bro, what do you have to say? Actually, this is actually almost on par with Aladdin. Almost. 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 You know, there's a couple. I got a couple gripes. I got the couple of gripes. Let's take a seat. Ain't a movie will be well Nuno having his gripes. I'm not sure if other people are going to point this out. I guess we should start at the beginning this time. You know, just like the original, you know, we start off with, the, with Eric Schiff. You know, but this time, he's not a royal. He's an adopted royal. I'm like, whoa. Uh, yeah, that's a 180 like, right there completely a 180 it comes out of freaking nowhere like with no real explanation it explains why the queen is black i know like she's like <laughs> I, guess, I guess she's like a, a region ruler i do know that back at, the, at that time they did leave certain people in charge but uh i'm not sure <laughs> if there was uh any any of the ones who were you know black uh i'll fact check myself i promise although <laughs> disney Clearly, the director actually wanted to do something really special to the, with this one. He wanted to push farther with something because King the tried and he was spitting some facts. Beautiful. So you got the balls Spoiling to make uh, abusive Spoiling. fathers with Marvel, but you don't have the balls the to do it here. Man. I guess even in the original, his abuse was not really that like that big. But like when it came to the original King Trident, oh man, his scenes were way more intense than this one. I'm kind of a little disappointed that the ocean parts were, was not popping. Like when Sebastian started singing under the sea, that's where the things were starting to pop. You know? Yeah. I know, you remember I made a promise I'm not going to judge the color grading because I guess I know it's intentional. But for this one, <coughs> you're supposed to see like the kingdom, the undersea kingdom. Yeah. I really felt like it should have been more better. Did y'all run out of money at that part? You wanted to show the kingdom, but like instead of it being golden, you know, with the big giant dick at the side. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the iconic VHS. Remember? All, all, all of all us right. remember that. We all, all of us remember. remember. The legends no, remembered. Disney, come on. We, you, we didn't forget. We remember. I mean, technically, I didn't realize it until years later, but. <laughs> Crazy shit, bro. We remember. Moving past, <laughs> moving past the big giant ship. You gotta see Ariel, but it actually looks like it, it, they make it look like all of her sisters were gonna were the ones collecting all this stuff. But no, apparently they're uh, they're the pickup crew. <laughs> they, that was fucked up. I kind of feel bad. They barely did anything with the sisters here. I thought, uh, yeah, but they barely did anything with the sisters before. But the difference is they actually had an entire singing scene, and uh, I'm pretty sure all, with all those actresses you had there, I'm pretty sure they got some singing talent. Especially the one from the TV show Sex Education. As for Ariel herself, she's chef's kiss, okay? I did not see anybody else. I saw Ariel. I like how you mentioned chef's kiss, but the one thing that we really a bit somewhat downgrade oh, with me is that we didn't dude, get the chef dude, moment, dude, man. Oh my great, man. Fuck you, dude. You cut out the chef. I wanted to see Lynn Manuel Miranda chopping like all those fish up and ready to kill Sebastian. Why did you cut that? Why? That was the moment that I was waiting for. Probably cut for time, but come on. You could I mean, have cut a bunch like, of stuff. Yeah but, yeah, but there was a whole lot of things that I felt they needed more time. And that probably would have been one of them. <laughs> yeah, like, come on, rest Aquafina, please. I know. Uh, so I guess they changed Skull from a seagull to an actual animal that can actually die underwater and actually hold its breath for a while but the main person you freaking fucked up you fucked up flounder okay okay no this is no disrespect to the kid okay? yeah the I kid like did a pretty good job but yeah he was heavily sidelined bro 
I know they just like threw him into the into the. I mean, the part where like they started kiss the girl. You could have had it. You could have had him like jumping out of the water to see Ariel. You know, ride with this prince. Yeah. Also, you cut the moment where Nuno was mentioned in the last reaction where he almost his tongue they almost cut got out the shark scene. Yeah. No, no, but the shark is here. But like, but the we part where got he the... got stuck, but and you know, flounder is like <laughs> he's like taunting the shark. He's like, oh, you big boy, and then the shark. <laughs> like snap his tongue off hey. that would have been so funny that would have been you guys should have kept that in there you guys should have had that oh man i'm so mad that they that that part was not there <laughs> just like seeing that shark just ready to snap his tongue off like he's like yeah kiss my ass bitch he's like what the fuck you say <laughs> <laughs> that that would that would have been that type that would have been that type of moment he's like he's like bitch i still got the big dick up in this bitch man fuck you. <laughs> i really wish that was in there Melissa McCarthy. I give a round of applause for you, Melissa McCarthy. You, you actually did. made this role your own. You did pretty good. I'll give it you still that. Should have been Lizzo. It really should have still been Lizzo. I'm still pissed about that. But although, well, but this is no disrespect to you, Melissa McCarthy. You did a good job. You're better here yeah, than Love like, and Thunder. This is actually almost on the same level as Will Smith as the genie. Almost. Oh yeah, almost. Will Smith, the genie, was being himself, and I guess Melissa McCarthy was being. Well. Somewhat of Melissa just McCarthy. Gave you the premium yeah, she was being herself. Kid. Also, almost, those almost. big tentacles, though. I know those tentacles are actually pretty beautiful. I don't know, and I, I don't, I don't mean to. This is so too much, so much respect for you, Melissa McCarthy. But I was looking at your character. I'm like, would I? Would I not? Maybe. <laughs> because goddamn, she was looking good. <laughs> oh god, you and know who? they're gonna make fan art of that. Apparently, uh, King Trident and Ursula are siblings for some reason. I got to be Javier Bardem's sister, and it was just so incredible to work with him, but boy, you feel those lightning bolts come out. These hands now. Like, what the fuck? Where the hell did that come from? It makes me rethink about the original, like, wait, were they siblings in that one? Because how the hell did, did like, their dad have something for squid people? Maybe it's the same reason why Prince Eric is adopted. I don't think this one was adoption. Well, then again, Melissa McCarthy is white and uh, King Trident is Latino. I want to know more. Like, what the heck was that beef about? According to her, she says, you made me suffer for all these years. So, an Ursula origin story when? When? I'm waiting for it because I got to know. Or, like, are they going to throw, like, a Disney short? Like, you know, make... Short like, film. Give us, give us, give us, like, a bit of a backstory there. The lore. And who is the actress? Who's the actress who portrayed your human side? Yeah. Who is she? We gotta, she was beautiful. Yo, fact check it right now. I don't know. I don't hey, yo, we're going to put her down right here. Right here. Yeah, we'll find it. We'll find her. What do you think about the other side characters in the movie? Especially the, um, w the guard and that was rooting for Prince Eric and Ariel. Ah, uh, the... He was uh, the G, bro. Like, he's not just the, the side guy, you know, always trying to be <laughs> like, you know, basically his father figure. He was actually... This time, his father figure. You know how dads are always rooting for their sons to get that girl? Go get that girl, man. Go, go for that girl. And he even covered for her saying, so. He's like, the queen is going to know the carriage is missing. He's like, he's like hmm. oh, what carriage? I don't know shit. <laughs> we don't know nothing. <laughs> oh, and a whole, apparently, this is uh, most likely it's Jamaica. It's given how almost everybody has a Jamaican accent. Yeah. I like the culture. With however they were like, you know, hanging out with the locals, you know, yeah. singing and dancing. That was like uh, uh, nice. I really like that. And also, how about the original Ariel cameo? Yeah, I was actually. Was that Jodie Benson? Yeah, that was her. I'm she was even sure, credited in sure the that credits. That, that, yeah, that we're pretty sure that was Jodie Benson, and uh, she should have been Eric's mom, bro. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. Why wasn't she Eric's mom? It would have been so much impactful. It probably it probably would have been even better to, to see because of her connection to the original like you would see that she feels how she feels and she un and by the end she understands eric now yeah also also you probably wouldn't have to put the whole the prince is adopted thing okay disney i got a challenge for you guys if this movie gets a sequel you see in the sequel you know ariel has a daughter with eric and she has a fascination with the ocean, completely opposite from her mom. You know, she dreams of the sea. She loves the sea. She wants to be part of the sea. And she wants to meet all the creatures and characters <laughs> of there. And I'm pretty sure, you know, besides the writer strike, we support you guys. I think y'all can make a better, y'all can do good with the sequel. 
you just need to pay your writers, okay? As for here, my challenge to you, <laughs> Disney, it was hinted that there was a love interest for the daughter in Melody. If you're gonna hint at a love interest, make him a person of color, make him black. Yeah, definitely. What do you think about Prince Eric's role in this? And also his original Actually, song? He, yeah, not only did he get an original song, Ariel got a completely different original song. Written uh, by Wimuel Miranda. Yeah, Gravity's Pulling Me Down. Yeah, what do you think of those that, original I songs? I actually thought one of them was popping. As for the other one, I feel like that one like, started really bad, but then it started to pop by the end because you actually felt like the prince was actually singing. You actually I actually liked like it. Was, yeah, I, it's it's like Princess Jasmine's original song in Aladdin. Yeah. You know how they're both singing how they want to be free. They want to go out in the world. They want to live. Yeah. yeah that, those... That's another comparison. That shit's crazy, bro. And Eric was one of those princes who had no singing roles. At all. I, I guess that's why they cut the chef for this. <laughs> for, for Eric to sing. I think he was cut mostly for more of Aquafina. But yeah. nah, I, I don't hate Hagafina. I liked her here. I liked I, everyone I here. Thought, I thought, to me, I thought Scuttle was like kind of the annoying part until the ending, you know. He actually has a better reason. The whole scene, you know, where like the sea witch is singing to herself with Ariel's <laughs> voice and she looks into the mirror and Scuttle sees that. Like that part was one of the parts that gave me the chills in the, in the original. Yep. And you, it, I didn't get the chills this time, but like the part where she says, oh no. All right, that, that's where I started to get the, the chills. But I really wanted Scuttle to say, <gasps> and, and fly away. I like the, the, the shipwreck. Yeah, uh, appar apparently that's how Ursula dies this time by getting killed by Jack Sparrow's ship. Yeah. And this one, she was more manipulative. Although, although you know what would have been more impactful? Instead <laughs> of having just Ariel impale her with the, with the ship, have both of them do it. That would have been 300 times more better. Yeah. That, that would have had us like rooting like yes! You see, and it was actually implied that people died <laughs> in the original shipwreck when they were gonna get married on the ship. I mean, there were dead bodies, bro. Ooh, God damn. Wait, I do remember something else. At the end, like all those sea creatures, like it was implied that those were other mermaids. Mm. And implying that she's been doing this for years. So, did King Trident not free those mermaids? Or were those just like, you know, random sea creatures this time? <laughs> Imagine it, it'd be funny if it was like the, the, the boys who was trying to date his daughters. <clears throat> it's like, he sent them to Ursula. It's like, okay, so I, I want you to kill him, him, him. He's getting too close to my girls. <laughs> that would be dark as shit, but funny Ooh. as fuck. As for uh, hey, the kiss the girl part, I love know, that part, part. The part where they're getting to know each other. Yeah, I like All that. All right, Sebastian, good job. You got me again. And I like the I, I like the chemistry. Even Those though two, she was know, barely talking, actually getting the to chemistry know each was other. awesome. They, it was they're actually getting to know each other. It was that, like you know, there's no <coughs> communication through words. There's communication, but what they what's showing each other what they like and what they talk about. I, you know. I really like the moment where Ariel was being smart, showing the constellations. Because when he mentioned Aries is one of them, he she kept pointing to it, and to, he finally managed to say Ariel. I was like, damn, that's so clever. I like that. Oh, and you're never gonna guess how the heck they did the whole dingle hopper thing <laughs> this time. <laughs> instead of instead of it with the <laughs> chef's fork, she used one of the locals' fork by, you know, playing with her hair. In the original, like, it was seen as like a really funny moment making her look stupid in front of everybody. But in this one, they, they just shows her as naive, you know, what she's like, and she started, people are looking at her like, like, what the fuck? And then, and then she realized, she's like, oh, that's not what this is. <laughs> All because the scuttle is an idiot. I mean, this time it's got a nice, it's got a nice score on Rotten Tomatoes. This time, although we don't listen to Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, fuck the credits, bro. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's about to get hit hard with a bunch of uh, shitty people online. You know, ready to, dump, to dumb this down because you know they're petty. Don't movie. listen to nobody else. Go, yeah. go watch the movie and see what you think about it. That's all that matters. Stop the cop, you this haters. Is why, this is why we don't call ourselves critics. We call we just call <laughs> ourselves the fans. Yeah. We, uh, we just call ourselves, you know, part of the people who want to see things, you know. I listen to more people online. You know, people who are actually honest with their with, with their opinions. Not grifters. Not shitbags. We go to see these movies for one reason and one reason only. To nostalgia. Nostalgia. To relive what we lived in the past. I understand like a lot of these movies is not giving us the same feeling. 
But you know, we've grown up since then. We're not kids anymore. Hey, maybe it's not the movies that are changing that much. Maybe it's us. Maybe it's us. You, you know, because clearly the box offices are telling a different story. Yeah. All right. So, so final conclusions, bro. Yeah, I thought it was way better than I thought it was going to be. You Is know? this in your top five for live action remakes? For the live actions? I'm not sure. I, I mean, feel like well, Aladdin is still number one for me. Aladdin, Jungle Book, yes, uh, Cinderella. Uh, I guess I would probably put the Maleficent sequel, which really shocked me with that 180 middle uh, twist. I seriously gotta watch some Maleficent movies and Cruella. This, this, uh, Cruella actually went its own. It's actually one of the only Disney movies that went its own way. Yeah. So what would you rate Little you know Mermaid? Love, you know I love my stars. I'll give this one a four straight. Straight, that's all. You know, I still got some gripes, you know, but I'm gonna watch it again just to see if I still have these same feelings. I also would give it a four out of five. I probably would have given it a higher if we got more of Sebastian, especially with the chef. That, hello, Sebastian looks looks ugly. Uh, flounder, ugly. Hold on, hold on. Well, I say, mean, hold on, say say it with me like the hyenas. And oh, man, are and they ugly. ugly. I mean, it could have been worse. I seen shittier uh, yeah, versions think, of Flounder. That's why. You know, with with Flounder, I feel like they could have went the same route as Finding Nemo. You know, put some faces on them. You know, they could still have their fish bodies, but put like put more expression on their faces. The, the animals were already CGI. Why couldn't they make their faces look like iconic to the movie? Their see, animated movie. Like, come on, bro. When it, when it comes to when it comes to Aladdin, my only gripe is the animals themselves. I mean, not, Iago didn't Iago speak, bro. Should have been the one to speak. Yeah, should have got Gilbert Godfrey before he passed away. Rest in peace, man. I feel like for Aladdin, those are my only gripes. As for this one, I put this one under Aladdin, but I'm gonna be fair, you know. Also, I definitely am gonna see what my family thinks about this because. A huge chunk of them are Little Mermaid fans. Apparently a huge chunk of my family has this fascination with mermaids, which kind of they kind of put inside of me because I used to watch this TV show called Siren, which definitely is not getting its final season, which I'm very sad about. Oh, we didn't talk about that. Apparently Ariel's Siren song is almost like healing people, you know, it's supposed to make people feel better. I, I like that theory, but you know, uh, we'll give we'll be fair to this one King Trident. Let's start with you Great job. All right. I felt like you could have been more angry, you know put some more effort more feeling but like most of the time his face is like expressionless But like when we saw his expression we saw the expressions as for the sisters. They were beautiful beautiful but oh, hold on. King Trident how many bitches you got out there, bro? Cause you got almost every single one from the from each part of the seven seas, all with different accents. Man, they I mean, should call it the seven baddies of the sea. They were fine as hell, especially the orange one. Ooh, the Indian one. God damn. damn. I am very curious about them. We need a story with them. If you're gonna make a sequel, there's your sequel right there. All right, let's give. Uh, all right, I'll give it four, four, four straight. Okay. Four stars for me as well. I'm gonna rewatch, and if I have different feelings, I will come. We will come back to, to talk about it. We promise. That that being said, that's all we gotta say. You already know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click that bell to get notified for our next video. Man, share this video anyone you know that fucks with this movie and Halle, fucks with scenes most live action remakes. Halle Bailey, you did a great job. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy, you did great. Uh, Eric. Good job. Good I good thought job. you could have been better. I uh, thought it was pretty good. I thought, and uh, Sebastian, round of applause for you, man. Uh, Scuttle, eh. now as for the king, good job, but uh, could have been more intense. That being said, we'll see y'all next time in the next video. And remember, don't give up all your dreams for a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Although that didn't happen here. <laughs> yeah. yeah.